take a look at that weather forecast for the week and see what we have in store, Joseph. We're starting off the week with an atmospheric river, and you know when you hear that, we're going to get some rain in the forecast. It's going to be in the second part of your Monday, though, so it's going to get you through what's going on for our Monday. You're going to wake up with some clouds, maybe some light rain. It's a bit gray out there to start off the day, but we've worked through the day. We're going to get more showers in the forecast, eventually turning over to a steady rain and maybe even a heavy rain as we get into the evening hours to the nighttime hour. So this event is going to take a little bit of time to reach the valley. It'll start for the Oregon coast. Temperatures tomorrow in the mid 40s to upper 40s in the morning. It's not going to cool down all that much tonight. And then we get into the afternoon tomorrow. I have highs right around 52 to 53 degrees. Well, here's all that moisture. How is it going to take so long to get to us? Well, of course, that atmospheric river, it's carrying a lot and it's going to need a little help to get to us. And so it's going to start up here in northwest sections of Washington here for the northwest section of Oregon. We'll see some light rain overnight tonight and we may even get some light rain here through areas of the Willamette Valley to kind of start the day off. But it's going to be the main events after dinner as we head into probably the late hours for tomorrow. You can see that stream right here. It's all associated with this area of low pressure that's really deep in the Gulf of Alaska. Here's that stream of moisture. This is what we're watching. This is that atmospheric river. Again, we've had a few this year, but this one's going to be a little bit shorter in duration and not as intense. So this is going to be a weak atmospheric river. It's going to be more beneficial than uh, cause an uh, interruption or anything to the flow of what we have going on. 54 degrees was our high today in Portland, 51 for Pendleton. Not bad there. Forecast low tonight in the mid 40s, 46 degrees for Portland. As I mentioned, it's going to be pretty warm out there. We get to the future cast in the morning hours as uh, we get into about 630 here. Just really spotty activity. You can see the showers though more so for the Oregon coast. Through the day, we'll see on and off showers, but it's going to be closer to about dinner time and beyond when we get that heavier rain moving on through. Snow levels bumping up to about 6,000 feet or so. Heavy rain down towards Eugene and Salem as well at 10 p.m. We still get some showers there before it kind of breaks apart as we go into Tuesday morning. So we'll still have some lingering rain as we go into Tuesday, but the main event, as I mentioned, is going to be anywhere from about 5 to midnight for our Monday. That's going to be when we get the deepest moisture there. Future cast as we go into Tuesday morning on the east side of the state, some rain. We keep the rain on and off as we go through Wednesday as well, although mainly dry, especially south of Multnomah County. Thursday for St. Patrick's Day, it looks like we have a system that's going to clip the northern section of our viewing area, so Salem to the north. And then it sure looks like on Friday we're going to have another front move on in, and that could bring in some heavier rain to kind of kick off the weekend as well with some snowfall there. I think when it's all said and done, you know, Sunday night here through Wednesday, we may pick up an inch to about an inch and a half of rain, so some good moisture for us. St. Patrick's Day at 53 degrees with some scattered showers. We warm up a bit on Friday there at 58. Wayne, spring starts on Sunday. Uh, temperatures in the lower 50s with some showers. All right, that, that happened quick, didn't it? We're almost there. Right there. Okay, next. Lot